Hello, NBA fans, and welcome back to NBA Draft News, September 23rd to September 30th. We're just filling the backlog right now, so today we're just going to go over the website that I like the most for just compiling the draft information, which is uh, the Hoops Rumors. And if you guys are enjoying this series, I'll be posting it every other day. Right now we're doing the backlog of September and then all the articles before it because, yeah, we need to get this information in, and I think it's important for everyone to see it who hasn't seen it yet. And anyways, we're just going to be going to hoopsrumors.com. Uh, they're a trusted source. They just compile information from articles. However, I do not <laughs> suggest you to use that website instead of just watching the videos where I read them to you. It's, it's kind of like an audio version, and people like audio versions, right? Okay. Let's go over. Oh, there's the other slide. Sorry. <laughs> you can crop this. Probably looks a little bit better for you. First thing, we're talking about the NBA Draft Combine, where it's going to be going on online. And one of the cool things I was looking at here is using Home Court, the ba mobile basketball app that watches you like shoot shots and like writes down and keeps track of how you're doing with each of your shots. And actually, I don't really know much about it because I haven't used it. I don't really have an I don't have a court to play on where I could use that. But I think that's a pretty cool app. And then some Combine HQ thing, which is probably just made for the draft specifically for this process. Then we got some interesting notes here. We're talking about uh, Omer Yurt Seven, probably gonna end up in the end of the second round, maybe mid second round. He's been. He's met with these teams, Hawks, Wizards, Spurs, Hornets, Kings, Sixers, Rockets. I'm just going to go through these quickly because there is a lot of players in here who have a bunch of teams they are talking to. And there's not a whole lot else going over here. Actually, here is CJ Moore identifying Jake Toulson out of BYU and Justinian Jessup out of Boise State being under the radar marksman like Duncan Robinson, apparently. And then our next article is a mock draft, I think. Actually, no. This is a list of draft combine participants, actually. Sorry. Uh, yeah, LaMelo Ball is going to be there. But Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, Obi Toppin, Yekka Kungwu, Cole Anthony, Aaron Nesmith, Devin Vassell, Sneak Bay. We said that in the other video if you haven't seen it yet. But all those guys will not be participating. But Ball, Achiwa, Adija, Halliburton, and Hampton, Hayes, Malden, Okoro are all going to be going to the combine. Well, the online combine. Next article is talking about, we got some Killian Hayes, has interviewed with Spurs, Wizards, Knicks, Bulls, and Warriors, and he says he's going to come off the board between number two and number 10 on draft night, and I 100% agree with that fact, or with that statement. It is a fact, pretty much. Anyway, Jalen Smith saying he's talked to the Wizards, Spurs, Raptors, Nets, Suns, thank God they've talked to the Suns, and the Bulls, so yeah, Suns better draft him. Mellow Balls talk to the Knicks. And, yeah, I mean, they, I believe they've said that the Knicks weren't 100% interested in him during the interviews. I don't have that information right here, but I think I read that somewhere. Anyway, it says, yes, if Timberwolves keep the pick, they'll select Lamelo Ball. I've talked about that before. Uh, the ball... Yeah, Ball might have also had meetings with other teams. He's only released the one about the Knicks. And another thing is that a scout who spoke to Bleacher Report is saying that his team is putting more stock into basketball IQ and other intangibles, so players like Halliburton and, and Okoro will be benefiting from this fact. Uh, we got some more on Zeke Ninaji. And this is from the Arizona... Uh, the, I already read this article, but I'm forget. Yeah, Arizona Republic, where Zeke Nadaj and Jalen Smith have already interviewed with the Suns. They're decently similar players, but I think Jalen Smith is just a lot better than Zeke Nadaj in every aspect of the game. 
Uh, there's nothing else there. We see Daniel Tour is up here. And he's interviewed with the Bucks. I did see that. I think he also... Yeah, I don't remember who else he's interviewed with. But he's interviewed with some other teams. Up here we have some some more draft prospects. And everyone who's the, they've been interviewing with. I feel like Precious Achiwa. He's been talking to the Kings, Wizards, Knicks, Nets, Cavaliers, Suns, Spurs, Pistons, and Thunder. Trey Jones has spoken with the Bucks, Suns, Thunder, and Timberwolves. And Bulls was postponed, apparently. RJ Hamden's talks with Wizards, Kings, Thunder, Pistons, Suns, Trailblazers, Knicks, and Bulls, which I think is in my other video. I'm sorry about that. And Tyrell Terry's talks with Suns, Thunder, Sixers, Raptors, Knicks, Nets, Warriors, Timberwolves, and Bulls. And I think I've said Suns for every single player. So I think the Suns are going to go very thorough with their search for that player at number 10, even though there's rumors that they will trade the pick. Uh, I mean, they've said that they've interviewed almost everyone here so far. Uh, Lamelo Ball is talking about how right here he's saying how he's the highest profile prospect in the draft combine. But if you remember qu correctly, he has dropped out of the combine after only a few days. And I guess that just comes down to there's only a few teams who actually need to interview him. And yeah, that's about it. He only needs to do the interviews, I think. And then we also have Tyrese Halliburton talking with the Knicks, Warriors, and Pistons so far. Onyeka Kung was ta talking about how he likes to be—he wants to be like Bam Adebayo. So everyone is comparing him to Bam Adebayo. If he has that same grind and that same mentality, he can pull it off. I think he has the tools to do it. And then Desmond Bain has spoken to 26 teams in the league. That's pretty wild. And. His agent thinks the Suns, Sixers, and Bucks have shown the most interest in him, which also is coming from Arizona Republic. I think Arizona Republic's done a pretty good job in terms of basketball news and stuff. And here's the most recent article. Anyways, I think that about covers it. I just want to get through this pretty quickly and then move on to the next one because I am already late on this subject. I hope you got some value out of this. See you in the next one. Bye.